Karnas Murr requested I create this, but it shall be my triumph. My experimentation with the heart of Grouch and my alchemic mastery of raising Sith spawn will culminate in the first great amulet to be worn by one of the lords of the Sith. This is the Sith Lord, Sorzas Sin, speaking about the Mer Talisman, the first of the three great amulets that Sin would go on to forge. Another Sith Lord, Karnas Mer, had sought Sin out to create the amulet for him, and in order to allow him to escape death, the talisman contained Mer's mind, will, and Sith magic, and sustained his essence, granting him a sort of spiritual immortality. But this was not the amulet's only use. It was also the beginning of a terrible, horrifying sickness. This sickness was known as the Rat Ghoul Disease. It could turn any sentient being near the talisman into a beast called a rat ghoul, rendering the victim a mindless zombie, subservient to Murr's will. There was one problem with the disease though, as it could not affect force-sensitive humans, or many other non-human species. To make up for this weakness though, Murr created the rat ghoul plague, which each infected human would carry with them. Once they'd fully transformed into a rat ghoul, a victim could spread the disease via biting or scratching other humans. They could do nothing to stop themselves from attacking even their closest friends and family. Once the disease had completely mutated a victim, they were robbed of their personality, left with only their previously possessed skills and knowledge. Fast forward to the era of the Old Republic, which lasted from about 25,053 BBY to 1,000 BBY on the planet of Terrace. Terrace was once a wealthy, thriving planet, but after the discovery of new hyperspace routes, its geographic importance decayed. In an attempt to rebuild its economy, Terrace turned to industry, which resulted in the pollution of its waters, eliminating the planet's main food source. Famine spread rapidly throughout the lower classes, while the rich hoarded the remaining supplies greedily. After the Tyrissian War, Terrace was divided into three very distinct sections, the Upper City, the Lower City, and the Under City. The wealthiest citizens occupied the Upper City, and as one traveled closer and closer to the planet's surface, the more impoverished the neighborhoods became. The poorer citizens were banned from entering a city above theirs, and more often than not, those occupying higher elevations turned their noses up at the seemingly inferior lifestyles of those living below them. Thus, the three levels remained solidly segregated. Around the time before, during, and after the Mandalorian War, the Rat Ghoul disease made its way to Terrace. It ravaged the Undercity, infecting many of its inhabitants. Eventually, the spread of the illness led to a planet-wide quarantine. Many Tyrissians opposed this, and it caused great amounts of tension between the citizens, specifically between xenophobic, prejudiced humans and discriminated aliens who did not have permission to leave and return to their home planet. There was no known cure, until one was created by Republic scientists on Terrace to allow them to travel down to the Undercity without being rendered a permanent rat ghoul zombie. After the Sith Armada took over, they began using the Rat Ghoul Serum for the same reasons. By the time an amnesiac Darth Revan, Jedi turned Sith turned Jedi, his memory had been wiped by the Jedi Council, arrived on Terrace, they had run out of serum, but he managed to find some down in the Terrace Undercity and give it to Zelka Forn, a generous, kind-hearted doctor. From there, Forn was able to replicate the serum and provide it for many afflicted Tyrissians. There is only one other recorded method for curing the Rat Ghoul Plague. During the Second Imperial War, Cade Skywalker and Aslan Rey became infected with the disease. Luckily, Skywalker, a Jedi, was able to use his radical healing ability to heal both himself and Rey. However, discovering this had only been effective in one situation, it is probably not advised to be relied upon. One did not immediately transform into a rat ghoul once exposed to the plague though. Once infected, there was an incubation period that lasted, in normal circumstances, between 6 and 48 hours. It was less when one was affected by the Sith amulet itself, however. During this incubation period, the general symptoms were a twisted appearance of the body, drained skin pigmentation, and bleeding from the eyes, mouth, and skin. 
The exact statistics of the disease is pretty much unknown, but is generally rare, as its only real cause is the one unique Mer Talisman, and that was destroyed by Cade Skywalker in 137 ABY. In addition, rat ghouls were said to have gone extinct many years prior, after Revan provided Terrace with the rat ghoul serum, the cure. Around 3641 BBY, Professor Sadus Brawl and Mola Haxter discovered a subspecies of the rat ghoul, a force-sensitive net ghoul. The holocron of Bayon Su, a Jedi of the Sonage Temple, was teaching the net ghouls. The Jedi Knight Dana Jor had attempted to kill the net ghouls, but was captured, and Su convinced Jor to let them live so he could teach them the ways of the light side of the force. Shortly after the Battle of Yavin, Leia Organa and Luke Skywalker traveled to a moon experiencing an outbreak of the disease. Karnas Murr initially wondered why Organa and Skywalker weren't affected by the plague, but then realized it must have been because of their force sensitivity. There are also variants of the rat ghoul disease, which was discussed by doctors Ayanna Sell and Eckerd Loken, two xenobiologists. The two variants were known as the Bozan strain and the Hirano strain. They differed because of a Claudite-derived gene sequence, though the exact nature of the two variants is unknown. All in all, the rat ghoul disease was a terrible disease, with tragic results for the victim. Its beginnings were dark and sinister, and more often than not, the ways the disease had been put to use was out of selfishness and lust for power. Luckily, it is very unlikely that the rat ghoul plague will afflict many more in this galaxy and beyond.